Continuing to multiply radicals, and over here we have the square root of 2 times 2 plus root of 2. Okay, so what we're going to need to do here is distribute the root of 2. So root of 2 times 2. And remember that there's a hidden 1 outside here if we don't see anything. And we're going to multiply the 1 by 2. So 1 times 2, 2, root 2 because we multiply outside times outside. Here we don't have a radical multiplied against the 2, so that's why we just multiply the numbers. So we get 2 root 2. And over here, root 2 times root 2. We're multiplying the insides together, and we get 2 times 2, 4. Okay, so this is 2 root 2, and the root of 4 is just 2. So that's the final answer. 2 root 2 plus 2. How about this guy over here? So 3 root 2 times root 3 minus root 2. So again we're going to distribute and we multiply inside and inside. So the 3 multiplies the 1, so 3 times 1 just 3, and root 2 times root 3, root 6. Then we multiply 3 root 2 by negative root 2. So again, we multiply outside with outside. And why am I adding these 1's here? Just makes it easier to see. And every time that we don't see a number outside of the radical, just means that there's a hidden 1 there. So 3 times 1 is just 3. Root 2 times root 2 is just root 4. So I can simplify this a little bit more. 3 root 6. Root 6, we can't really do anything to that because 6 is just 2 times 3, so there are no pairs that we can take out of the root. But over here we have 3 times root 4. Root 4 is just 2, so 2 times 3 is 6. So that's it. That's as far as it can go. And we have 3 root 6 minus 6 as the answer.